there guys, it's Sats, recording live at EGX London with Quests of Dungeons. This is a procedurally generated roguelike turn-based game, and as you can see you have four different characters. You have the Warrior, obviously melee combat, Wizard, magic based, Assassin with a bow, so that's obviously ranged, and the Shaman. May not be the most powerful fighter, but he's specialised in mixing spells with close combat, so he's kind of like the hybrid. For the purpose of this video, I think I'm going to go with the, the wizard, just because it looks like Vivi from Final Fantasy IX. So let's select the wizard. And select the world. In the land of Viral, a powerful and evil lord stole all the light, trapping it inside a magical lantern. Darkness spread quickly and ruthlessly. Okay. Four heroes join forces. You should go alone. What? Good idea. How is that a good idea? Divide and conquer. I love the sense of humour already. This is really funny. Gives it okay, fair enough. It's a dark night with just a gentle breeze in the air. You finally reach the ruins of the old Umpire Mansion. But who knows what secrets and horrors lie inside? And will you survive? Right, so he's got a Got your standard roguelike movement controls, click to move, and open doors, explore. Oh look, there's another me. And you just attack and attack and attack as usual. But as with all roguelikes, oh, I broke my own statue. That sucks. As with all roguelikes, it's procedurally generated, so when you die, you perma death and the world gets deleted, and then a whole new world is created. You've got your weapon select here, the staff, or what looks like a fireball. But that looks like you've got a. Knees a door key, okay. Okay, we're in a room with a swirling vortex, that's not good. Eat my fireballs! I mean, the good thing is, the me you do have a bit of range. Unlike some other roguelikes where you don't. There's a lot of enemies in this room. So yeah, every time you do something or move, then the enemy moves with you. And I'm out of mana, that's not good. Oh, I've got to beat this back with a stick. And pick up all of the loots. Ah yes, ruthless vandalism. I just smash this place up. beat the bats up again. And I died. Let's try this again. This time with a warrior, I think. As you see, you've got several levels of difficulty. I was on hard, there's hell, normal, hard, and hell. Let's try it on normal this time. I'll skip all this in editing, I think. And once again, the start room will always be the same, which is a common, commonplace thing in roguelikes. Use my heroic ability, which is now on cooldown. things. No more 
enemies in this room. Oh, skeletons dropping. As you can see, when you kill some, you do get XP, so you can level up in this game. I'm interested to see what the level up system's like, but obviously I've got to survive long enough for that. What's that? You do have an inventory, of course. You can use healing items and various things you find around the world. Change your armor, change your weapons. And of course, the most important thing of all, open chests. And I just got the Shaker Sword Curse. And this sword has a power of 10, so it's not worth it. There is always a lot of min-maxing in roguelikes. You want to maximize your chances of kicking things asses. Just die. Thank you. And that was... You picked up a, fer a ferric shield. Is that any better than my shield? Shield defense of 12. There we go, I now have a shield. Oops. Continue. XP bar's almost full, so hopefully that was this swirling vortex. Ah, it's a teleport the thingy. Die, 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 die. And smash that up. Lovely. So those swirling vortexes are teleporty thingies. Good to know. Right, come here, you rat bastard. Ah, I leveled up. the level up actually did. Inventory. I've got no quests. Or one. And that's just the thing. And I've just been informed that we are going to have to leave because my camera battery is about to die. So this has been Quest of Dungeons, it's very, it's very much a roguelike, and that's not a bad thing, it's, roguelikes are fun. I especially like this retro 8-bit art style, and just the, the sense of humour this game has is fantastic. So, this has been Quest of Dungeons, and until I speak to you again, I've been Silas. I'm going downstairs. End of demo. So I will see you next time.